up. And hmm, that's how we do it on the continent. But of course. Hey, Dad. Hi, honey. Come on, come in, come in. Okay, what are you wearing? Uh, here it's called an apron. Interesting. Why are you wearing that? Well, because I've been cooking snails. You're kidding me. I've been cooking snails and dealing with snail spatter. Did she really cook those? She did. What do you mean? I told you I was going to cook them. Yeah, but I thought it was just something you say, like a euphemism. A euphemism for what? A euphemism for I'm ordering a pizza. Come, sit. sit. Uh, so, how was your trip? Oh, no. First, a glass of wine. We went to the Chateau du Nozé in the Loire Valley, and this is a Puy Fumé. It's supposed to be one of the best in the land. And uh, after trying 10 varietals, note the use of the word varietal. Noted. Believe me, you tend to believe them. <laughs> we were drunk by the end of the tour. We bought a case. Cool. So you went to a winery? What else? What else did you do? Um, here. Try a snail. Uh, no. Please, come on. I made them. You try one. I'm full. I've been snacking on them all day. Well, see, and I had a lunch of bugs and lizards, so I'm good, too. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll try one. Okay. You sure you don't want a lime and some salt so you can do it like a tequila shot? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. All right, you ready? One, two. Well, well, how's it taste? Well? Sort of like a buttered gummy bear. Pass. So, what else? Tell me, France. OK, here it is. Um. Well, we were in France, your dad and I. We got married. What? We got married. You got married, married? Married, married. Really? Um, wow, wow. Um, hey, congratulations. That's, that's so great. Thanks, we're so excited. Um, how, when? Um, Two days ago in Giverny, it's a little town about an hour outside Paris. It's where Monet had his studio, where, where he painted the water lilies. Oh, so you guys just went there to get married? Oh, no, no, no. We just went there to walk around to see the lilies, and, and um, then it started raining, and there was this little church, and... Uh, it, it was so beautiful, and we were so happy, and we got married. Wow. The ceremony was in French, so there's only a 90% chance that we're actually married. There's a 10% chance we were issued a very expensive dog license. Mm. Wow. Wow. Um, oh, I'm, I'm so happy for you guys. Really? You know, we need champagne. Do yes. we have champagne? Uh, in the uh, cooler in the garage, maybe. Okay. okay. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> well. What? What do you think? Um, what do you mean? I mean, what do you think? I don't know, Mom. I can't believe that you did this. You're mad? Yes, I'm mad. Rory. Just stop, okay? Don't. Okay, but... I can't do this right now because Dad is about to come back in here and I just can't. Okay. Unfortunately, we went all the way to France and didn't come back with a bottle of champagne. So we're gonna have to make do with a bottle of California's finest. <laughs> it's okay. She showed me her ring, this huge canary diamond Right? Looks like something Paris Hilton would wear. Hey, you made it. I made it. Beautiful. How was dinner? Did your mom really make snails? Well, not only did she make snails, she got married. What? In France, to my dad. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. How do you feel about it? Oh, uh, you mean besides really bad? Well, do you want a drink? No, I'm good for now. All right, well, let's go outside and talk about it. Um, no, I'm OK. I mean, I will want to talk about it, but right now I'm still processing. Well, it's a lot to process. Don't feel like you have to stay here if you don't want to. Oh, no, I want to be. Are you sure? Yeah. Little known fact, I am quite the compartmentalizer. In fact, I have a blister on my heel. I've been ignoring it all evening. All right, well, if you change your mind, you want to talk about it. I'm fine. This is your night, so how can I help? Just be your charming, blister-ignoring self. I can do that. So who's here? Or rather, who's not here? Yeah, we got a pretty good turnout, huh? Yeah. All right, see that guy right there? He's a Rockefeller. He doesn't like you to talk about the fact that he's a Rockefeller, but he wants you to know he's a Rockefeller. So if you talk to him, make sure he knows you know, but don't say you know. I'm going to try to work in the first standard of what? Behind us, Boykin and his fiance Celery. And no, I'm not kidding. Those are their real names. I'm here. Meet my boyfriend, Boykin. Try saying that five times faster. <laughs> 